<sighs> okay, yeah, uh, we're gonna see the other bird-based character face off against Rosier's Marth now. Um, this definitely, that was a little bit of a scary start. I feel like as a spacey player, I was like, I tense up a little bit just seeing like a spacey that close to the ledge and like have to do like a recovery option like that. But he does the CPU jabs, just kind of does jab jab. Oh, I like, that was like the first time since I've been commentating today I've seen like the counter be beta out like that. Uh, so, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff to peen in that scenario. Um, I think he's just gonna pressure him a lot. Uh, and we'll see if like he's ready for the pressure, which certainly seems like, uh, well, yeah, it certainly seems like he's ready for like peen's pressure. Um, I like the little lay of land back air there. Uh, it's just a matter of like, is he going to be able to get in on Professor Peen when he's just kind of controlling the space so well? Um, yeah, it just, it just kind of seems like everything like Wolsey is trying to do right now, uh, Professor Peen is just kind of swatting him away and like just kind of punishing him for it and he's not really able to get anything started or like any major grabs. And again, this, this, this Falco, you have unfortunate SD there, but like this Falco, every set I've watched of him tonight, every set, like he just seems like he's getting like cleaner and cleaner. So, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Um, it's definitely a gimme, so good stuff on Wolde uh, recognizing it. Um, tries to get in for another counter. Um, it's like almost a like turn tournament winner counter, I guess you would call it. Um, but again, Peen just like not falling for it. And he doesn't really have any reason to run into it, I guess you could say, for lack of a better term. Um, but he's gonna swat him away with the back air. Oh, tries to get back air. Oh, yep, shine turn around there. All right. Um, good stuff with Peen. Um, so we're going FT. Um, yeah. <laughs> not, not exactly the most like crazy counter pick in the world. Uh, at least crazy in terms of unpredictability. So I'm going to imagine Will Zia is very, very practiced on FT against Spacey's. Um, he just kind of has that style, even like when you're watching him on a non FD stage, that like he's just so good at kind of predicting where the opponent's gonna be, like in terms of their tech, tech and like DI and stuff like that. Um, so like FD is kind of a, heaven, a match made in heaven with them. Uh, unless you get bared like that and just kind of get yoinked off the stage. Uh, um, but yeah, it's kind of up to Rosie at this point if he can kind of escape this like corner pressure on those and kind of like see how he approaches against the peen falco um yeah, nice little stringy out there Try, tries to catch him with a fair unfortunately doesn't hit it and he's off stage again and he gets down smash like that all right um yeah you definitely don't want to be in a position oh i like the it was a really cool dare, unfortunately, the, the spikes from hitbox, but he cleans up anyway. I was, I was good away with, with both yeah. Definitely a very unorthodox punish game. Um, oh. Yeah, I like I like the matches where like people just like kind of crouch cancel through the pressure, um, and then eventually someone just like throws something out and it works. Uh, that's one of my favorite like kind of moments within this game. Ooh, that was an interesting little movement he just did with the ledge. Well, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Another very weird like reverse hitbox almost with the nair. Um, he kind of needs those situations right now to, ca to catch up. Or you can just get a regular old fair like that. And it, I mean, it's obviously not even a percentage, but like just one grab and Lil can bring this back. But he has to be careful of landing on stage like that at least. Um, not that he had much really, much options really. And yeah. When the pressure is on for the march to, uh, to approach, let's just get a gimp like that. It's, I mean, that's exactly what Lozia needed. Good stuff and good awareness on his part. Um, yeah, one grab, almost gets the grab, uh, but unfortunately gets down there into uh, down smash there. And again, just doesn't fall for the counter and just kind of takes care of the scramble, scramble situation. Good awareness by Peen. And yeah. I imagine we're going to see FD again, but we'll see what happens. So. Yeah. 
collection of all of them. That was a collection of straight hits that like mattered. That was like a Fox moment where like Fox and just like like a mid level Fox especially where like they don't even have like the cleanest like combo game exactly, but they were still really good at getting straight hits and like getting kills off of it. Um, that's what we just saw from Peen's Falcon or Falco rather. Yeah. Ooh, he crouched into the last match. Really, really crazy side B you just hit there too. Uh, and he just kind of slots him away. So it's going to be interesting to say the least. And unfortunately, just going to get punished for the up right there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, not, not too much crazy you're going to do there. Oh. oh. Yep, and here's the chain grabs. Um, obviously, he wanted these last game, but he's going to try to make them count, and if he can get this game, then it'll make up for lost time a little bit. Gets a really good nair there. Um, Hypey is uh, through the fair. I, def I know Will Zay definitely didn't want that. And, oh, that was, oh my gosh. Yeah, just like those low, like, percentage stocks are just insane. And Peen is just so good every single set of just, like, kind of snatching the ledge like that. But Wolde is not out of this. Again, just a few chain grabs, and he can easily be back into this. Ooh, unfortunate moment. But, you know, it's going to happen. Hey, please get Quist onto the stream setup for melee. Quist to the stream setup. Yeah. Oh.